so now we're gonna implement the uh, button function so click this button function twice then try to code this like this uh, try so i'm gonna add try catch for error handling then sql exception sql exception dot x then i'm getting the error let me get the error let me catch the error message box show then just say exception dot message just like that so now we are going to grab the uh, connection so uh, using we are going to say sql uh, connection when equals uh, database dot db dot get connection so we just uh, getting the access to the database then just open the connection uh, op, uh, con dot open just like that then i want to store a string to uh, store a query so just say string uh, sql query equals to delete delete from the table name you have to add the table name just grab that really quick and paste this here then where the id id equals to id just like that so uh, now i'm going to create a new command sql command uh, sql command equals a new sql command and the write the query and the connection so it's having access to write uh, uh, or manipulates things inside the database so uh, now i'm going to say cmd dot uh, parameters then add value at 50 value so here uh, i want to say at id i want to replace this with the actual id that i'm getting from when someone selecting so uh, selected id so when whenever someone uh, selected any row and try to delete uh, this id will replace with that id so uh, now we are good to go so i'm saying int uh, rows affected rows uh, affected uh, equals to uh, cmd dot execute none query all right just like that so uh, now i can literally ask if uh, my row uh, if any rows has affected or not uh, so if if it is affected if which we it will definitely give a value of uh, one which means true uh, then we can say message box message box dot show Uh, student delete success success cool. also just uh, uh, just get all the students also clear the fields as well so clear fields as well now we are done with our project so now let's see if it is working or not so I want to uh, delete Julia and all the girls. So I'm going to delete uh, Jessica, also Sam. You can see like if you want to add another girl. So let's say, uh, so we are having an error here. What is that? So CMD, so in the add button, we are having an error, CMD parameters, add with value, age, int, pass. So why is that? So did ah uh, we try to add at someone uh, without giving any uh, uh, validations that's why it happened so just don't add it like right away just give some values before adding someone so uh, let's say i'm going to add um, let me add uh, julia again uh, give a value also the gender also the course enroll so now it's working that happens because like so julia added because i never gave any validation like uh just validation like that i'll show you uh what i'm talking about so let's say this is the 
get post and so uh, I never said that validation like that if so I'm going to uh, do some kind of validation like txt edge dot x is null if this is null so this can't be null so I want to say something like this I, I'll show you what I want to show so uh, string dot is null or empty so if this is if this string is empty uh, so there is extra one so oh so I'm going to copy this so copy this and paste this four times to give validation so here the text dot h or and i want to say txt dot full name dot text uh, then uh, txt dot gender dot text also the course txt course dot text so if these inputs are not uh, if these uh, inputs are null or empty i want to say a print message message box dot show okay so show all the inputs are required okay so just like that also you have to return it otherwise the whole code is going to run so you have to return if there's any uh, invalidations like if the inputs are invalid you have to return it so otherwise you won't get this error so i'll show you so if i add this so yeah so if i add this uh, without uh, giving any inputs so see so uh, i'm get, giving getting this error so so where's my message message so 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 i i did that implementation to some somewhere else uh yeah so i want to give it here actually i want to keep it inside this add button so where is it so here sorry for the confusion so just here when i'm clicking the add button now let me do that again so if you add some if you try to add someone without giving input so now you are getting all the inputs are required even if you keep the name because other inputs are uh, null so still, still still get that message also uh, the code behind that uh, co code below that uh, if else statement is won't run because we are using a return statement so that's it guys so you guys now know how to create uh, uh, and how to insert update delete uh, and view uh, from the database so this is going to be the last episode of this uh, section so of this uh, uh, project and we'll we'll do more projects like this uh, in the future let's see